there's no better picture of just what dry conditions we're facing than the Lake Okeechobee right behind me. Water levels were topping 16 feet just a few months ago after Hurricane Matthew. Now 11.78 feet. We would need to have several weeks of sustained rains uh, getting into a normal uh, rainy season weather pattern before we'd really see any significant improvements in our current dry condition. Today, St. Lucie County, Okeechobee County, and Palm Beach County still under a burn ban despite a rainy end to the weekend. In fact, according to the Department of Agriculture, the state of Florida is facing even higher fire danger as we head into the work week, as indicated by the yellow, orange, and red highlighted sections of this map. It's very dry out there, and currently we're operating in a task force response. St. Lucie County has seen more than 550 acres burned since the start of the year, including a few brush fires just this past weekend. That's about double the amount from last year. And Lake Okeechobee hasn't seen water levels this low since late spring of 2012, when it hit 11 and a half feet. That's the year Hurricane Isaac turned a water shortage to water surplus in just a matter of weeks. The Army Corps of Engineers says if water levels drop below 11 feet, South Florida Water Management will enact a water shortage management. And another quick note here, the Army Corps of Engineers tells me they've been getting this question a lot. The locks here at Lake Okeechobee that allow boat traffic through are still operating on an on-demand basis from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Usually when water levels get this low, they shut them down. If water levels do get any lower, they may shut down, but at this point in time, they are still operating. Reporting live in Okeechobee County, Sonic Donge, WPBF 25 News. Sonic